Been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Been gone for a year, only go like once. Life move fast when you do what you want. At this time, doing what I want. Back to my channel, it's your girl Vicky XV, and I am back with another video. As you guys can already tell by the title, I'm just going to be giving you guys a few tips and tricks and things that you should and shouldn't do before and after your Brazilian wax. So if you haven't already, remember to like, subscribe, comment, turn on that bell notification so the next time I upload a video, you know. So let's get right into the tea. I ended up writing a few things in my phone just to keep me on topic because child, I will digress and we will be talking about a whole bunch of nothing. Um, so the first, the first tip I'm gonna give you guys, mind you, these tips are not in any type of particular order, um, but the first tip I wanna give you guys is just, which I feel like is very important, is just planning your waxes around your period. Planning around your period is very important just so that after you do get a wax, you don't have to put on a fresh pad and so that you're not irritated and so that you don't break out down there. Um, as we all know, I'm pretty sure all of us has done this before, like when we're shaved and then immediately after um, that time of the month will come. Now, we literally have a fresh hoo-ha on a fresh piece of pad and when I tell you that friction is no bueno, baby, I just feel it. Like that literally gives me PTSD. So that's why I think it's extremely important that you plan your waxes around your period because you don't want that. You, you, yes, Tinky, we know. My cat is gonna is gonna be running her mouth this whole video. So just. I know. So after a wax, I think that it's extremely important that uh, we all avoid like like deodorants or like intimate sprays or things of that nature. Like pretty much these guys like right here. Uh, if you guys can see I probably have to turn my um, my SO down but pretty much like these summer's Eve intimate sprays and stuff like that I feel like after a wax you should definitely refrain from those for about 72 hours because we all know after a wax you're literally your pores are wide open and what you don't need is anything messing up the hoo-ha and in these intimate fragrances, there's a whole bunch of chemicals and things of that nature. You wanna refrain from any type of chemicals after you just got a wax because your pores are just open. Speaking of chemicals, it's important that you avoid any creams or lotion, especially those that are chemical-based lotions or creams, mainly because this can cause inflammation, skin irritation, things of that nature. As I stated before, like for an example, this guy right here, Oh God, I don't think you guys can see. This is an intimate bleaching cream that I normally use when I hop out the shower. I literally just put a little bit on, a little goes a long way, not too much, just to lighten up my meow meow area. Um, but after a wax, I do not put this on because baby, we're gonna have a problem, okay? My pores are wide open and I'm putting cake soap on my round. I'm, I'm putting chemical, like come on now, like, 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 like think about it, like. <laughs> So if you are a girly like me that does intimate bleaching and stuff like that, when you get a brand new wax, you know that I know and we all know, don't use the intimate bleaching because you're gonna have a problem. Like you're, you're, you're gonna have a problem. You may have chemical burns. You may suffer from third degree burns, first degree. I don't know what degree they go in, but I just know it's one, two, three, okay? So avoid these guys after a wax. So yeah, things like this. This is the intimate bleaching cream I was referring to. I just had to adjust my lighting so you guys can see it a little better. So yeah, you want to avoid that. I do recommend oils, like baby oil, or my personal fave, coconut oil. Baby, I love coconut oil, child. I'm supposed to be using this in the kitchen. This is my lotion, okay? This is lotion, okay? First and foremost, I get food stamps. I don't care, I'm proud, I'm proud, purr, big purr. This stuff are probably like $20. Who paying $20 for that? Not I, said the cat. So I will kindly use my, 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 my EBT black card with pride, okay? And get this coconut oil. Um, this is uh, Ayo's Love Organic Coconut Oil, which is refined. Um, it's so awesome. We literally live by this. We mix this sucker up with some Vaseline or whatever lotion of your choice. And when I tell you you're gonna be moisturized all day, 
You're gonna be moisturized all day. Get you some coconut oil. You invest, invest. If you ain't got no money and you got food stamps, guess what? It's a food and you can rub it on your body. Bing bong, bing bong. So you wanna avoid super, super tight clothing mainly because your skin has to breathe. You have to let your skin breathe. You don't wanna get a yeast infection. You don't want five much going on down there. So avoid tight clothing after a wax. To be honest, what I like to do after I get a wax, like the night of, I'll just free ball. I won't sleep with anything. I'll just have on my nightgown, my moo moo, and I just let the I just, I just let the ladies hang, okay? Even though I ain't got nothing hanging down there, but you know what I'm talking about. I just free ball. You feel me? Just let it breathe out, let it air. You get what I'm saying? Another thing that you want to avoid after waxing, and trust me, because I've been there, I've done that, and the pain was excruciating, is exfoliating. So I use these um, exfoliation Michael Jackson gloves. That's what I call them. They're literally just called exfoliating gloves. Um, if you haven't already, you can check out my previous video. I'll pin it somewhere up here. And I use that to like shower. I literally slip my hand in, add in my soap, whatever type of soap of my choice, and I wash my body. Now the issue that I have with that is I'm just so used to just washing and going where I go subconsciously without even thinking. I literally had a whole new wax and I went right, when I tell you I hit the, I hit the scootoo, scootoo. Woo, when I tell you, I can't even put the pain in the words, but I guarantee you if you put it in multiple choice, I will bubble the right answer. I had to hop out the shower, pat myself dry, and put on coconut oil you to relieve the irritation because it was crazy. It was banane. So take it from me. If you just got a wax, wait at least three days before you start exfoliating because first and foremost, you're going to cause irritation. It's going to hurt and it's going to be uncomfortable. So if you don't want none of those three, just wait three days before you even think about exfoliating because it's not worth it. As stated before and as you will hear me say over and over in this video, which is the underlying point is you just got to wax your pores is open. When your pores is open, that make you susceptible to book, that makes you susceptible to um, infections, um, irritation, things of that nature. Your pores is open, like. <laughs> open. So another thing that, excuse me, I'm drinking TP out the bottle was that type of night. Another thing that, another thing that you should avoid after a wax is friction. Friction as far as like exercising, doing a mattress mumbo, jungle juice, bang bang to the train, you know, the birds and the bees. It's very, I would say it's, it's I wouldn't, cause I've definitely got a fresh new wax and then definitely went to pound town cause I was an oxtail. But I don't think that it's hundred percent recommended because like the next day I had to put my hoo house ice. Uh, mainly because it's, it's, it's the friction, it's too much going on, like it's literally, it's too much going on, I just got a wax. Another thing you wanna refrain from doing after getting a wax is pretty much um, touching your intimate area. I know your hoo-ha looks brand new, it looks nice, it looks baby bottom, but if your hands aren't clean, just refrain from just touching that area. Just make sure your hands are clean at all times before you decide, excuse me, to go down and touch your intimate area because as stated before, your pores are open and we carry a whole bunch of germs and bacteria on our fingers and on our hands from touching doorknobs to touching other people and things of that nature. So it's very important that your hands are clean. Um, another thing that I feel like is important that you should avoid after you get a wax are um, like going to swimming pools, mainly because it's chlorine in the water. Chlorine is a chemical, as stated before. Um, your pores are open. You also want to avoid being in the bathtub for a really long time in warm water. For obvious reasons, you're in the bathtub sucking your dirt off. And your dirt, you're now submerged in it with open pores because you just got a wax. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So, you know, just avoid all of those things. And just to remember before a wax, before you get your wax, it is important to exfoliate. Uh, because that loosens up the skin, loosens up the dead skin. It's easier for your esthetician when it's time to wax. Um, and also make sure you go there nice and clean and sparkly. No esthetician wants to wax somebody who coochie stink, who got boo-boo and they doo-doo. You get what I'm saying? So just make sure that your hygiene and your, your, your intimate hygiene is on point uh, because people are people and they will talk about you. So the last thing you wanna do is go to get a, go to get a wax and your whole hoo-ha is off. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, subscribe, comment. 
turn that bell notification so the next time I upload a video, you know. And I'll see you guys in the next one.